It's a snowy start to my hike today in the North Pennines. As I walk past this picturesque cafe, where am I heading today? And as I exit the car park, the scenery in front of me is already quite interesting. And as I head into the wild moors, I cannot wait to get started. But the main question is, where am I today? So, where am I today? Well, I've just left Parkhead Railway Station and I'm coming along the old railway track or bed that used to connect Rookhope with Parkhead, just outside of Stanhope. Um, at the moment, I'm heading towards Horseshoe Hill and then I'll go for a bit of an amble and a wander through Stanhope Burn and then hopefully the cloud will lift and I'll get some nice views of my second destination. Um, and I would also like to say a massive thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers um, which happened all of a sudden on Friday um, when I was just busy pottering around at work and then after work I checked my emails and they just woof my inbox just basically lit up and I was like, hey, where's all these come from? And then the comments started on the videos um, and it was all, oh, by the way, I dropped in from Patrick's channel. And I was thinking, Patrick, 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 who? I know a few Patricks, so I was like, who? Was, um, right, okay, and I'm starting to think. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Anyway, one person eventually mentioned the surname. So, well, a big, massive thank you and a big shout out to Patrick Leach. Acker the Solitary Rambler, who mentioned me in one of his videos. Um, I watched it and I thought, really? I was like, no. Um, as anyone who knows me well will see, I'll always play down uh, my videos as such. Um, if everyone says, oh, they're brilliant, blah, I love the music, blah, blah. And I'll be like, uh, they're all right, but you know, I'll not big them up in any way, shape or form. So, Thank you so much, Patrick, for your very kind words. Um, I was a bit speechless and I couldn't do anything for half an hour. Um, so hopefully um, you enjoy my videos. Um, but like I say, um, and I'm still speechless by it now, to be honest. Um, I'll tell you what, as I always say, Let's go. Just as a little side note, um, yes, the temperature today is not very warm. I'm reckoning about four degrees. I will check shortly. Um, and I'm already on my second battery already. Oh, old habits die hard. But it is nice to actually walk along here. A lot of people who have done the sea to sea will know this route because obviously, um, when it's open, um, it's the route from Rookhope to basically concert um, via Waskily Way. But it is still a gorgeous day, and I'm hoping it'll actually get better. Fingers crossed. If not, well, I'm out. I've been out in worse. Main thing is, Enjoy it. Surprisingly steep. Not much further, and we're at the summit of Horseshoe Hill. Ah. And the view is a bit of snow, a lot of cloud. Never mind. Still worth it though. And if anybody wants to know how to get here, well,
it's not that far away from the transmitter mast. <laughs> it tends to dominate the skyline around here. If anyone really wondering where I am now, well, I'm back at actually the Rook Hope Railway. It's only a short little half a mile, if that, detour up to the top of the hill. And it's surprising up there, it's cloudy, it's still cloudy on the top, so I can see it there. But where I'm heading, the sun's come out and it looks gorgeous. The sun has indeed come out, albeit briefly, to provide a stunning vista of the scenery I'm visiting today. And what a gorgeous view it gives me. I've just had to cross farmland. Um, I'm not fond of videoing on farmland because obviously it's private. In theory, I should ask permission. Um, so my apologies for the last bit being a little brief. Um, but anyway, here I am. And with the sun shining, oh, I'm hoping this should be one of my favorite parts as we walk along the banks of Stanall Burn. Hiking along the banks of Stanhope Burn gives me gorgeous views of small waterfalls and definitely different bridges. This is lovely, if not slightly hair raising. And the path, well, as you can see, it's literally one footstep wide. But I still thoroughly enjoy the hike. Here we go. Big change of plans. I looked on the map and I thought, mm, don't know what's possible. Wait and see when we get there. No. Time for a route change. because I'm supposed to ford this. And I can tell you now, looking at it, it's at least knee deep. On a sunny day, perhaps, but not today. Time for a replot. I think waders would have been needed for this. It's not quite as wide here. Wish me luck. Wasn't too bad at all. Due to the detour, I now have to leave the banks of Stanhope Burn and head higher. But still, the views are quite pleasant. as I hike along this path, running parallel to the burn. It still gives me gorgeous vistas of the scenery. Not bad at all. Indeed, it's not bad at all. With views of the burn and the snowy moors in the background, amazing. But time waits for no one, and it's onwards I head to my next destination. Slowly rejoining cart tracks. Making my way out of the valley. Back towards the main road. But where am I heading now? Well, the shelter from the wind was nice, but onwards I go to my second destination. And yes, it's definitely cooling now. Whew.
this is most definitely an unusual landscape. So, where am I heading now? Well, it's been a kind of zigzag route, um, but I'm now on my way to my second destination. But where is it? Well, as you can probably see behind me, um, it is starting to break out a bit and I'm hopeful for some sun uh, because if I do get some sun then I should hopefully get some nice views possibly even a nice sunset from the summit of Collier Law let's go still an impressive view Hiking along this gravel road does indeed afford me an amazing vista of the landscape. The final destination of the day, against a very impressive backdrop, welcome to Collier Law. Well worth the trip. Unfortunately, it's a little too cool to be spending any amount of time up here, but it's been nice. It's been really nice to end a hike on a positive note. Definitely. And now it's time, like so many times in the North Pennines, to follow the fence. And so, with a happy smile in my heart, it is time for me to indeed follow the fence back to my starting point at the car. Which, despite the terrain, is not too bad. Not long to go now. And with my final destination in sight, it is indeed not long till I return back to my starting point. And that's it for today. It's been a fun one, this one. I have really, really enjoyed it. Again, thank you very much to Patrick Leach for mentioning me on his channel, all my new subscribers. Please do, I'll put a link to his uh, channel below. Please do go and watch his videos, subscribe, like. He also does his own soundtracks as well. We have to stick together, you know. Um, but honestly, it's still, I'm, it's still sinking in. Still sinking in. But today i have enjoyed it the sun's gone in now um i'm not going to get any nice sunset shots but never mind you can't win them all still enjoyed it hope you have as well whether you have enjoyed the scenery the views or even just the journey do not forget everything you've watched everything you've seen this is nature